IPv6 stands for Internet Protocol version 6. It's the most recent version of the Internet Protocol, which is the communications protocol that provides an identification and location system for devices across the Internet. When a device is connected to the Internet, it gets its own IP address. That's right, every single device. This is how one Internet connected device is able to find another device by checking their IP address. So you may be thinking, isn't that what a MAC address is for? And you would be correct, but that's not the whole story. Every device that is connected to the internet actually has two types of addresses, a physical address and an internet address. The physical address is the MAC address. MAC stands for Media Access Control. It has nothing to do with Apple Macintosh computers. So the MAC address identifies one device to other devices on the same local network. The internet address, on the other hand, or IP address, identifies the device globally. A network packet that is being sent over the internet needs both addresses to get to its destination. It's sort of like how houses have a street address and a zip code so that you know where to deliver a letter in the mail. One example of both of these addresses being used together is if you've ever logged into a web app from a new device, and you'll notice how the browser asks you for proof that you're the same person from before. It's because it hasn't seen that combination of both MAC and IP addresses before. So let's talk about IP addresses. IPv4's adoption has led to a shortage of IPv4 addresses. And so IPv6 has been in the works since 1998 by the Internet Engineering Task Force, also known as the IETF. And it aims to solve the limitations of possible IP addresses available with IPv4. This means that IPv6 is more secure, more efficient, and fully supported by the load, by the way. But I'll discuss that in length in a few minutes. So IPv6 has been developed to replace IPv4, mainly because IPv4 is running out of addresses. IPv4 only supports 4.3 billion unique IP addresses, whereas IPv6 supports up to 340 trillion, trillion, trillion addresses. That's a lot of addresses. So really quick, you may be thinking IPv4 and IPv6. What about IPv5? Well, IP version 5 was a series of experimental protocols which were never intended for public use. The big problem with IPv5 was that it used the same IPv4 addressing and had the same limited number of addresses. So when IP version 5 was discontinued, then part of its development went to the next version. And the great thing is that referring to the next protocol as IPv6 also evaded confusion. So all modern computers and mobile phones support both IP version 4 and IP version 6. And if you look at your device's IP addresses, you will probably see both. The way that you can tell the difference between IPv4 and IPv6 is through the blocks of numbers. An IPv6 address uses 128 bits as opposed to 32 bits in IPv4. IP version 4 has four blocks separated by dots, and IP version 6 has eight blocks separated by colons. Here are some examples of IP version 6. Now notice here that this can be compressed to eliminate leading zeros, so it would look like this. And take note that beginning zeros can be omitted, but ending zeros cannot. In my earlier video about IXPs, I talked about the OSI model. Well, IP addresses live right here in that OSI layer's network layer, like in this example. So let's talk about adoption, because the adoption of IPv6 has been ramping up, mostly out of necessity. And as of right now, 30% of websites are now IPv6, which continues to grow every day. You'll be glad to hear that every Noodle node is created with both IP version 4 and IP version 6 addresses. So let's talk about how to find your IPv6 address. Well, there are some pretty straightforward ways of doing it. You can Google, what is my IP address? And Google will tell you what your IPv4 address is. However, to find your IPv6 address, you can go to something like test-ipv6.com to find that address. Or you can find your Linode's IPv6 address using the Linode Cloud Manager or by using the IP tool with the Linux terminal. So simply log into your Linode Cloud Manager account and select the Linode's link in the sidebar to view a list of all your Linodes. Then to see a more detailed view, 
select the little node which uses the IPv6 address that you would like to find. And in the following page, you can find the little node's IPv6 address in the IP address column. So for more detailed information related to Linode's IPv6 address, click on the Network tab. And so under the IP addresses table, you can view the Linode's SLAAC and link local IPv6 addresses. Let's recap. IPv6 replaces IPv4. IPv6 allows for more addresses, increased security, and more efficient transfer of data. So think of it as future-proofing. Number two, MAC addresses are for local identification. For example, a business wanting to identify their polycom phones inside of their building, whereas IP addresses are good for global identification. For example, someone in New York trying to reach a computer in Tokyo. IP addresses are sort of like how houses have their own unique addresses and zip codes so that packages can be delivered there. Number three, Linode supports full IPv6, and you can even use Linode's Cloud Manager to find your own IP address. And now you can start to see the evolution from IPv4 into IPv6. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this, and we'll see you next week.